222 and are working on the scaling black soldier fly larvae for community composting project. Here's the team and our responsibilities. My name is Marie Negro, and I was the project manager. And my name is Yoer Harry, and I was a purchasing manager. My name is Gary Millington. I'm the communications manager. My name is Tyler Franklin, and I'm the team facilitator. My name is Brom Soltes, and I'm the lead engineer. Currently, RIT sends about 1.3 tons of food waste to a biodigester off campus. RIT is in need of an effective on-site composter in order to help become carbon and waste neutral by 2030. For our composter design, we specifically aim to use black soldier fly larvae to break down food waste faster and create useful byproducts. Most of their life is spent in the larval stage, which is advantageous for use in a composter as that is when they are the most voracious eaters. When they've matured into flies, they do not have a mouth and so they're not able to dis disrupt the local ecosystem. Their byproducts can be used in things ranging from fertilizer to antivirals. This project has been worked on by a few MS team teams already. Based on problems with past designs, our customer requested a design that was easy to clean, ergonomically friendly, and had a consistent flow rate. In the future, she hopes to have a larger version capable of processing much more food waste. In response to the customer's design specifications, we created a design that would scale easily and fit into an average shipping container. Some of the most important considerations while designing were the cost of design, availability of resources, and manufacturability. In the course of the project, we had several successes. We designed a composting byproduct removal system using a commercial auger modified with 3D printed parts. A normal screw auger would have had problems with uneven pulling, which is essential for the system to work properly. The 3D printed inserts allowed the auger to pull evenly from the back to front of the composter. As built, the removal of the byproduct is safe, simple, and doesn't disrupt the flow of the system. There are also many challenges with the design process. Mainly, the project relies on black soldier flies and can often be hard to maintain and predict. Additionally, they do not process food waste very well unless kept within a very specific temperature and humidity range, which was difficult to maintain over the winter considering the lack of heating in the shed in which our project was housed. Material selection was also a challenge since the materials need to be safe for their larvae to live in, strong, and also corrosion resistant. And the largest risk that the team took while designing the composter was gluing the auger insert instead of bolting them. Currently, there have been no problems via testing, but this is something to consider in the future. The final composter is able to process 20 pounds of food waste per day. The design is easily scalable to a larger version and safe to use and clean for operators of a wide range of sizes. All of this wouldn't be possible without the help of many individuals within RIT. Our customers, Sarah, Don, and Brian, were always there to answer questions and provide constructive criticism for all design decisions. Both John, our, our guide for MSD1, and Oliver, our guide for MSD2, were crucial in guiding us through the project management and other technical criteria through each phase. Peter and Alden helped us receive additional Tiger Tank funding and are working to expand the future viability of this project on a larger scale. We also can't appreciate enough the expertise provided by those in the machine shop during our assembly phase. Lastly, the hard work and proper documentation of the previous project teams greatly assisted in, in decision-making during the beginning of design stages. We thank you for listening and hope you enjoyed.